guys, how's it going? Today I am going to be building a trellis. You guys seem to enjoy the previous episode where I showed you how to make your own trellis. It's really simple and you seem to enjoy it. So I'm going to show you another one that I'll be making today. Another very simple one, but this time I am going to build a much longer trellis. I've got these stakes. These are very sturdy. And I just picked them up at Home Depot since it's garden season right now. They're you know, pretty easily to be found at a lot of the um, handy kind of stores like that. If you have bamboo stakes or any kind of things you have around that's tall and sturdy enough, that would be great. You don't have to go out and purchase more. But what I really like about these is that, let me just show you, the tip here is actually pointy, so this end is going to go down the ground and the other side is flat. Oh wait, yeah, it's supposed to be flat. Yeah. yeah, so one side's flat and the other side's pointy. And the second thing you will need is just some strings. So I got some jute strings. The, the texture on the stakes should help hold the, the strings on better. So this is going to go um, against the shade side of the wall here. It's going to be nice and long where I can grow beans because the beans uh, prefer to be a little more shaded. So that's a really good, you know, good use of space growing a vine or something in the back to fill the walls and then you can grow some stuff in the front. So let's get going. Alright, so I got these stakes laid out. I got five total that I'm using one on each end, one in the center, and then find the midpoint of, you know, each side and I put them down so they're, I think they're pretty good evenly distributed now, distributed now, so I'm going to be pounding them down. So if you don't have a mallet, you can just use a hammer and um, sometimes to kind of soften up that pressure, you can put a, a towel or cloth uh, between the hammer and the stake. Alright, it's time to finalize. Rings. And we're going to start tying on um, the stakes. and then keep going. Loop, 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 not again. Loop, 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 loop. So 
So I just keep looping this thing on the same place and then I'm just going to pull, pull, pull this ball of string at the end to extend it. done with one line. I'm going to take care of the rest, going to be doing the same thing, and then I'll get right back to you guys. Oh yeah, cut the string. Okay, so just got done with the horizontal lines, and next I'm going to do the verticals just to hold, you know, the plants, the, the vine better that way. It did took a little longer than I thought because I got some thinner strings which I thought was going to be more cost effective, but um, I probably would be getting some thicker strings in the future. And just, just a note for you guys as well, get thicker strings so you'd work faster. Um, I did enjoy the process though, it was pretty therapeutic, meditative for me. Um, and by the way, you know, meditation does not always have to be sitting in a quiet place or doing mantras. It's basically anything that you enjoy doing that brings you that sense of calmness and bringing you to that present moment. So it was very soothing for me to be uh, weaving or, you know, doing the trellis thing. So I'm going to show you the next step is going to be doing the horizontals and um, I'll get right back to you guys. On to the next one. Now, if it's easier for you, you can just gauge how long you need the string to be and just cut it so you don't have to work with the whole roll while you're making these knots. That would make it easier for you. going to take a little more extra and cut. And I like making just one knot so that I can easily adjust. You can kind of slide these over wherever you like. These are all adjustable. Well, I got three more to go. working on tying the trellis together I got these you know uh, long extra strings here on the top so just to make it a little more aesthetically pleasing on both ends bottom here I'm just going to tie the two together um, and I like having a little bit of extra space to use in case I need to adjust these uh, these lines, if I need to adjust these lines, I'll have the extra strings to work with.
the trellis is now complete. Next I'm going to be starting to, you know, guide some of the peas that I have growing up the trellis. I didn't get a chance to build this because of the rain. We kept getting rain and then um, the slugs were eating away the peas. So I hope the peas have a chance to grow uh, now. But I am going to start to put some beans, uh, you know, to sprout and hopefully I'll get them growing for spring with a trellis that's ready now. Um, I hope that, you know, as it warms up for you guys, get get going with making your trellis or get your trellis prepared so that you can have plants to start climbing on them. And this trellis is pretty easy to make as you can see and it only like took strings and, and poles but I, I would recommend finding thicker strings and uh, sturdy strong poles that are not, that are not too flexible because it's not going to be as sturdy. Uh, I am leaving this on the side, the, the shade side. Uh, just so that you know the beans like them that way and I also um, can keep this lasting a little longer because this is made of um, the strings are made of jute so it's a natural material I don't expect this to be lasting for years but it should take me through like a couple of years I think um, yeah so I'll keep you guys posted on how the trellis is doing and um, if you find this video to be helpful, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more gardening and plant videos to come. If you want to support me, I'd love for you to check out my website for plants to add to your garden. I'll leave the link below the video for you guys to go check out. All the best to you guys and see you guys in the next video. Bye.